so we're going to be going over how to fletch arrows today. Um, so anytime arrows lose their veins, um, we're always going to bring them into the shop. We normally have two buckets, ones that need to be cleaned and ones that are already clean and ready to be fletched. So when they come in, one important thing we're going to do is we're going to be scraping off the glue. So any remnants of glue that's left needs to be completely scraped off. So now that it's scraped off, the next thing that the arrow needs to get is acetone. So you're going to take a paper towel, if not any over here, just rip one off, take it to the acetone, get some on the paper towel, and you're just going to rub it just like that. And now we have a clean prepped arrow ready to go to be fletched. So now when you need to have it fletched, you're going to take it over to one of these jigs. Any of these work. So the R is going to indicate your, your index vein. So whenever you adjust your arrow, you want to make sure one of the different ones is going to line up with that. There's a little groove on the inside and it should just slide right on. So now you're going to spin it so it's open. You're going to take your jig, grab a green or whatever color you need. You're going to put it on that fourth line down. So that top of the vein sits perfectly on the fourth line right there. Then you're going to take two little drops of glue one at the top and one at the bottom. You're going to take your Q-tip and you're going to run the glue along the whole vein to spread that glue out all the way. Then you're going to take it. It's magnetic, so it's going to stick. And then you're just going to slowly push from the bottom to the top on there. Hold for about 10 seconds and then when you're done holding you can just let it be and it's good to sit for about five minutes while you flush the rest of the arrows all right so once you do this arrow you can spin the thing around and now you're going to take this off and do the same thing with another arrow